Zenless Zone Zero's 1.2 special live stream has finished, and it is like a day after, maybe two. I don't. I, I can't remember how long ago it was. I've been trying to get ready for Twitch God, but yes, Tour de Inferno was showcased, and my God, was this update looking pretty dang good? So I'm pretty excited for this, and I hope you all are as well. We're gonna go ahead and talk about the condensed version of this live stream, but before we get into that, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to check out Gamer Subs right. Th Right there. <laughs> Use code Tyster for 10% off. I'm rocking a uh, Grenader Grape. Uh, one scoop with two scoops of caffeine free blowhole blast. Uh, I'm loving the caffeine free ones right now because I definitely need to calm down on my caffeine intake. So definitely would suggest y'all check out gamer subs and use code Tyson for 10% off. They're going to be at TwitchCon as well. So if you're there, come say hi to me. Come say hi to gamer subs. And yeah, it's going to be fantastic. Mm. Delicioso. Love my bow cup, by the way. Anyways, let's go ahead and also give a shout out to the wonderful Stray Michael. You can't see him. Let me go ahead and move my head right there. Look at that. This boy right here makes fantastic remixes of the Dokkan OSTs. Uh, this is the newest one that just came out for Worldwide 2024. So if you like, you know, this music that keeps on happening, you know, during my, you know, videos. <laughs> I was like video. I was, I wanted to say live streams, but if you wanted to check out the, the we do use these for the live streams as well. But if you want to check out this music, check out Stray. He's fantastic. Love this guy. He also edits a little bit for the channel. But let's go ahead and dive into the Tour Day Inferno version 1.2 special live stream. There's a lot to cover. So first things first, let's talk about these banners for King Caesar or Caesar King and Bernice, right? So Caesar right here is going to be phase one, which is coming out on 925, which we're going to be getting uh, Piper and Anton as the A rank... Uh, you know peeps i, I really the hollow, hollow raiders I, I i don't know but the new character new character caesar looks absolutely fantastic caesar is like a defense slash parry unit and her parries are gonna be really really cool i love the fact that she's a defensive fire um and her freaking w engine looks so freaking sick i gotta tell you this is probably one of the be better designed uh w engines so i'm pretty est ecstatic for that but her kit alone like her they, like i like i'm a sucker for cool kits for characters and with her parry mechanic i love it i love parry mechanic characters within uh Ho hoyoverse games but the only thing is i don't like parry mechanic uh or parry mechanics in dark souls games so because i hate i hate it i hate it so much but yes that's gonna be phase one and during phase one they're also going to be releasing the new s rank bang boo Red Marcus, who when you like when he's on the field, he's gonna be on like this like little circular uh stabby ring, like a motorcycle, and just like doing continuous damage as uh, time goes on. I think it's cool. It just reminds me of the Mr. Garrison like little drive craft from South Park, which kind of makes it weird because it's a little pig, but you know, it is what it is. But yeah. I think uh, I think that red Marcus is cool. I'm really glad that I saved my uh, boo ponds because it seems like there's gonna be a new bang boo every update. So there you go. Phase two banners: Bernice, which is going to be an off-field fire DPS uh, or off-field anomaly fire DPS, uh, alongside Lucy and Nicole, who are the A-ranked characters for this phase two. Now. The W engine just looks all right to me. Like I love, you know, Caesars first, but Bernice's kit in general made me happy because when you activate her uh, ultimate, she stays on the field for a while shooting like the flames, which is pretty dang cool. Um, yeah, both of these characters kits are really, really cool to look at. And uh, I really want to dive into both of them. I don't know if I'm going to summon yet for Bernice. It depends on how much I'm able to save up, but we'll know, uh, we'll know around uh, October 16th, it looks like. Now, of course, we already knew that we were getting the new W engines. We got this, and we're also getting two new drive discs. I don't know if it's going to cover in here, but we can go ahead and pull them up right here. So we got Chaos Jazz, which is the first new drive disc, uh, Anomaly Proficiency plus 30, and then the four piece is Fire Damage and Electric Damage are increased by 15%. When off-field damage dealt by EX Special Attacks and Assist Attacks is increased by 20%. When a character switches back onto the field, this buff continues for five seconds. So it looks like this is going to actually be good for not only Bernice, but also uh, Rena. 
Or at least that's what I'm guessing because it seems like it might be really, really good for Rena. Um, I believe she's electric, right? I'm not crazy. I'm pretty sure she's she's electric. Let me pull a pride win real quick. I'm not I'm not crazy. I know I'm not crazy. Give me a sec. Where's Rena at? Yeah, she's electric. I knew I wasn't crazy. I knew I wasn't crazy. Guys, I knew it. But yeah, Chaos Jazz looks like it's going to be a really, really good drive disc for Rena as well, which is pretty cool. I haven't built my Rena's drive disc yet, so this is perfect for me. Um, Let's go ahead and dive into Proto Punk now. What is going on here, Stray? I like that. Stray going crazy with this stuff. Uh, oh, did I pass it? I was like, huh? Yeah, so here we go. Uh, Proto Punk for Caesar is going to have a shield effect plus 15% on the two piece. Uh, four piece, when any squad member triggers a defensive assist or evasive assist, all squad members deal 15% increased damage, lasting 10 seconds. Passive effects of the same name do not stack. So this is good for, like, again, for, you know, Caesar, or even like uh, Seth, for Ben. Any real defensive unit can work with this because it's going to give you that increased attack. So if you haven't, if you've, You've already built up Ben and Seth. You're kind of in trouble because I think that this will be a lot better uh, for them. Uh, well, maybe not Seth. I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to look deeper into it. Um, but yeah, definitely like this new uh, drive disc as well. As we go on, we got more quests. We got two quests that are going to be happening. Main story, Tour de Inferno, and then Bernice's agent story. I'm surprised we're not getting a Caesar agent story, but that's probably going to be part of chapter four. Um, but that means a lot more quests are going to be ha or side quests mainly a lot more side quests are going to be happening y'all So if you've been waiting for new stuff to do, um, there you go. We we finally have it So, uh, we got the outer ring which is going to be a very expansive map from what it's looking like Uh, it looks really cool. Uh, I compare it to the desert of arizona That's really what it is. Um, so that's what's kind of making me go. Maybe I should summon for both uh, events and there is a good long list of events happening. So we got the overlords feast uh, Which gives you commissions of uh, reviving an old diner you get a free Lucy out of this, which is pretty dope uh, Bizarre brigade, which is going to be a brand new arcade game uh, And this one is going to be kind of like vampire survivors if you've been if you've played that game before or hollow cure so Really cool to have that but there's gonna be an event that's based around that as well. So stay tuned for that we have the Roaming the Ether, uh, Cutting Air salvaged a vintage computer terminal from the Hollow Zero, or from Hollow Zero, which may contain important information. Uh, redo for you. The new stand is going to have puzzles, which is pretty cool. Uh, the Friendship Fair. Uh, I think we had this before, but it's basically you turn it, you turn in a bunch of stuff and you get free rewards on top of that. So if you have like extra items that you've been doing from your grinding, you're going to get stuff back for it. Uh, Phantom Hunt. Uh, Rain needs your help in this combat event where you take down strong enemies in the hollow and then Shinyu defense is getting an ambush uh, Or ambush node, which is a brand new event for Shinyu defense this next time so. And then of course the optimizations, right? This is where I think they're they killed it, right? So we got fairy assistant feature uh, Let you received uncollected rewards from completed story commissions and exploration commissions after a set period this also is like you have to like put in somebody and it's like you could you basically choose that you're not going to do it like physically and it's going to take like 15 minutes for them to do it and you could do something else on the side um you got increased playback speed and monitor array which is pretty dang cool uh preset lineup feature so now we're actually getting multiple team presets which is fantastic this was something i've been wondering why we haven't been doing since the beginning but it's only been two updates, so I'm not really that upset about it. I think it's wonderful that they finally added it. Adjustments to eight for agent training adds repeatable combat stages and adjusts the entrance location for agent training. And then ability to change in-game time. This I was super freaking happy about, man. God. Why why did why did we not have this before? So before you could like rest for like a quarter of a day and then you'd have to wait until midnight in game to be able to actually rest now you can change the time whenever thank jesus because this, again this should have happened a long time ago there's also something that they they're not mentioning here which i'm pretty uh pretty sad about i don't know why they're not putting it out there um or at least i'm, I'm not crazy when i'm thinking about it because they did add 
I need I need to find the optimizations. Hold on, let me go to Twitter real quick. I need to find It's Eon because I know that It's Eon covered it. Shout out to It's Eon. I like uh, I like looking at his stuff because he's really really good about it. Where is it? I know it was here, buddy. We were, we were just talking about this on on Twitter. Am I crazy? I am crazy. I think I am crazy. Hold on. Let me go to my. Let me go to my Twitter real quick. Hold on. I don't know. Well, okay. So, basically, the other optimization that was here was that we have. Basically, we have overflow on our uh, stamina or our resin or whatever you want to call it for ZZZ, right? I don't know why they didn't put it in here. Like, these guys are crazy for not putting it in there. Um, but yeah, so we get. We basically get energy back that we would have lost out on if we were full on energy. So, if you don't know, uh, Honkai Star Rail does this, Wu Wood does this, uh, Genshin does not, so Genshin could never. <laughs> but. Yeah, overall, Tour de Inferno looks really, really cool. Um, I'm very excited for the update in general. I think ZZZ is going to be just a great contender for, like, the best Hoyoverse game. I think it's it's closer to fighting Honkai Star Rail than Genshin is. Honkai Epic 3rd, as good as it was, I don't think is really hitting it. But ZZZ is definitely, like, doing its best to kind of fight that fight for the best Hoyoverse game. Now, I think that ZZZ is going to continue to get better. So I'm very excited for 1.2. So let me know in the comments down below if you're excited for version 1.2. Would love to hear y'all's opinions on this. Guys, sorry if it seems like I'm very scatterbrained. I'm getting ready for my trip because, again, I'm going to TwitchCon. I'm going tomorrow morning, basically. So, but yeah. Anyways, that's going to be it for today. Let me know in the comments down below if you're excited. And we will see you in, you know, the wastelands of New Eridu. Take care and be safe.